Hi there, this is just a quick video to go over how to publish a map, as well as the difference between a published map and a draft. When a map is published, it is made available to teachers in the school or institution to view and utilize for their lesson planning. Publishing a map will allow teachers to have an official resource to work off of throughout the year. They will be able to assign the map to their subjects, which will assign units to lesson plans and allow them to insert unit content, as well as tracking the standards coverage across their planned lessons. Publishing a map means that version of the map can no longer be edited, but that doesn't necessarily mean your work is done, as you can always create a new draft for editing your existing map. Only users with curriculum publisher permissions will be able to publish maps, so if you are a curriculum creator, you will need to reach out to a publisher to review and publish your map for you. If you are a curriculum publisher, you just need to navigate to the map, click the Options menu in the top right corner, and click Publish. This will give you a warning reminding you that you cannot make any more changes to this version of the map, but you will still be able to create a new draft, so there's no need to worry. If this map is ready to be made available for curriculum viewers, you will want to click Yes. Now you can see from the list of our school's curriculum maps that our map has been published, and the date of publishing is listed here. You'll notice that the menu for this map now says that we can view the published map, and you'll see once we click inside that we can no longer edit this version of the map. You still have access to all of the map's data and export features, you just won't be able to add any more content directly to the map, it is strictly view only. While this version of the map is currently available for teachers to use, we can continue to work on it by going back to our main curriculum page, and in the options for our map, we can click New Draft. This will create a copy of the current published map, so depending on the amount of content, it may take a little bit of time to generate. When it's done, you'll have the option of viewing the published version or editing your current draft. Now we can make changes to this version of the map, but anyone in your school with curriculum privileges will still be able to access the published version of the map. So with the new draft, you can add more units, more content, and can continue developing this map. When you publish the draft again, it's going to replace the older published version with the new updated published version, and will update it for teachers who have assigned the curriculum map to their subjects in PlanBoard. So don't worry if you accidentally publish a map, it's still something that you can work on, but it does allow you to create versions of the map for others to utilize while you're still working to flesh it out.